the spirit uses everything that you're truly inspired by or passionate to bring you deeper and deeper into stillness and to train your mind actually to be able to just watch thoughts and going with them and to really just going deeper into stillness and it is a training and it can be it might be that for a month you just do two minutes in the morning two minutes at night and that's that's it but use the music the spirit will guide you and if you just ask for guidance to the spirit it's going to use your skills it's going he's going to use everything that you really like to do in order to bring you deeper everything that is attractive and I feel like we really don't have to know how because the how is the Holy Spirit but you can just keep praying about it and following whatever's given you and trusting that this is the plan so you have a very creative mind you have a lot of inspiration and a lot of energy the Spirit will use it use all of it to bring you deeper and deeper into an experience of the heart where all things fall away naturally because you go deeper in the experience so it's not again like a trying to let go a trying to be quiet it's that quietness is your true nature and by allowing the spirit to guide you everything else will be removed because you don't pay attention to that so when you are in collaboration or in inspiration, your mind is quiet because you don't give attention to all those other thoughts that are they're, they're still there. You're just not attentive to it. And it's when you give attention and power to those thoughts that suddenly it's like, whoa, what's happening here? And so just trust really that there is a plan and that by your willingness to follow the plan of the spirit, you're going to go deeper and deeper into this experience. Yeah. And it's very joyful. like. Like, like children were saying, it doesn't need to be boring. Like you don't need, you know, if you don't like sitting on a couch, there, are, there is another plan for you. The Spirit will not give you something that you don't really feel passionate by. It's going to use, you know, everything that is in you in order to, to really, truly bring you to the experience. Yeah. So used to the, to the inspiration that's infinite and yeah. here. Uh, and I guess I feel like a salmon who wants to climb, like, like swim, like the inspiration is pouring out and you can barely stop it sometimes. And I, sometimes I wish I could. And so I feel like a salmon trying to swim upstream, like, wait, let me get to the source of the inspiration and just rest in it for a while. And then, again, and then when I get back, we'll play some flute and then <laughs> there we go again. It's a blessing, you know, that, that you are so passionate about these things and so passionate about the music, it's just so easy to turn it to the spirit in the most helpful way and rinse and wash the mind of, of those resistances because you've got that passion. Yeah. And, and I always encourage that, you're in touch with your feelings, you're in touch with your passion. Uh, it's like with Armel, she's just like a little five-year-old that's just, <gasps> if she just loses her breath, <gasps> I hear that, when I hear the breath going up, <gasps> then I know there's a huge inspiration there and everything in the universe will have to stop <laughs> for this inspiration. And so I'm like, okay, what, what is it? What is it that, that you need, want, whatever, right now? Forget about whatever was planned or scheduled by anybody or whatever. And, and there's an attention and an allowance put to that. Like she always liked like meditation and dance, inner dance emerge. She, she would do inner dance sessions, really taking people deeper into meditation using movement because there was a passion for that. You see how the Spirit just brought those two together, the passion for the dance, the passion for the meditation. Ah, inner dance and people, she would do these long inner dance sessions and people would say, whoa, my mind just expanded. But with your music, you know, the, with all the different varieties and the presence and just wants to flow out in so many ways, go with that. You know, don't think that there's anything wrong, but go with it because it's so right and, and you will be amazed at, at how the Spirit uses it so easily. I am amazed <laughs> on a daily basis. Yeah. yeah. We're just cheerleaders for that, you know. <laughs> I love to just cheer people on. They're interested in like movie making. We were talking about go for it, you know. My talks with Thomas is one thing, but it's like, but for for those, or many will come through, and it'll just be like, go for it. Let's go for it. Let's 
let's try this, let's do this, you know, and be willing to just, at the drop of a hat, just give yourself fully over to it without the shoulds, the ought tos, the have tos, you know, those things bog things down. And like the piano, uh, the keyboard, it's just flowing through right there, but there's not an inhibition about it. There's encouragement. I work with people in community, so I'm always help having people showing the benefits of communities and how you can work together. It doesn't have to be a disaster. You know, people have said, oh, don't even mention communities. It's just a bunch of egos. How many larger communities, a bunch of egos together. It's a nightmare. It's a drama. I say, no, no. Oh, I, I've, I've had different experiences with community where I'll get together with them and when there's disagreements and arguments and debates, I'll just be the presence of love and be accepting and say, well, let's just, you know, let's work through this, let's use it here, let's use it to the max for healing. We don't have to just conclude that communities don't work. We're not trying to make a utopian community, we're trying to have a communion with God experience and clear away the obstacles. So, so I don't shy away from things, I'm just more like a cheerleader, encouraging people, saying, yeah, let's try that. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Let's 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 try your idea and see how that works. And then they discover for themselves that they actually have a lot of inspiration in there that wants to pour through. I just realized that I was being run by this ego poser who's the imaginary Zen Nazi. It's like, you yeah, you graded this and that, but can you not think? You know? You know, and, and, it, and that's what's been running since I was like the first the, the challenge was first placed to me as a little kid. Like, can you not think, you know? We, yeah, we leave that to the Spirit. Thank the Spirit will take you. <laughs> That's in the Course Jesus says, now we give you the most advanced form of meditation. <laughs> Try not to think of anything. That's the most advanced. So see, the ego is trying to taunt you with the most advanced. And it's like, wait a minute, take it easy. I've got a passion for music and I think the Spirit can use that passion to take me into a still mind. Don't taunt me with this silent stuff as if I'm a failure. I'm going to come and I'm going to have that stillness and I'm going to let the Spirit inspire me through my music to do that and then take me there in a way that's fun and enjoyable, not like, you know, pulling hairs out or something like that. It's, it's got to be enjoyable. I always tell people, why can't spirituality be fun? Why should we make it so heavy, so dark, you know, like, like it's so Serious, you know. <laughs> I don't think it has. I don't think the course is really a serious book. When people say yeah, that is a major serious mind bender, I say no. I don't. Think so. I've had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah,